Hello, everyone, and welcome to Asian Viewpoints. I'm Mary Sit. Every woman deserves to look and feel fabulous. And that's the motto of Vienne Milano, a luxury hosiery company that makes thigh high stockings in Italy with the finest materials. The founder is with us today, Vienne Chung. Vienne, thank you so much for being with us. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much for having me. This is such an honor. Well, how did you get the idea to start a luxury hosiery? company in the first place. Um, the year was 2011. At the time I worked in corporate America, I couldn't find thigh highs that would stay up on my leg. Um, it's not that I'm particularly tall, or short or thin or whatever. Um, it's just I, I couldn't find hosiery that would fit comfortably on my legs. Everything that were available was Halloween-esque, um, so not work appropriate. Right. Or, um, or there were other style of thigh high stockings that were available and they were priced at around $100 per pair of stockings, which at the time was not feasible for me right. to work every day to work. And so with that idea, I thought, yeah, you know, this is an opportunity for me to start my own business doing something that I am really passionate about. But, you know, I, I didn't want to look back in my 70s thinking, oh my goodness, I, I you know, did something that I wasn't that didn't fulfill who I wanted to be. Well, Vian, you're a small boutique company. How did you survive the pandemic? That must oh. have been tough. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, let's, you know, rewind things a little bit to 2020 in February. At the mm -hmm. time, I was seven months pregnant and, you know, I've my pregnancy or pregnant brain on. And I thought <laughs> I need to um you know, order way more inventory than I usually do um, on a monthly basis so that I could uh, have everything available so that when I have my baby, um, you know, nothing is stuck or bottlenecks for me um, for my company. And so place the order and usually it takes about a couple of weeks for everything to be ready mm -hmm. and shipped to me. But um, leading up to the end of February, I'm, I'm going, what the heck is going on? Why are things slowing down? What's going right. on? And so I, that's when I had a stern conversation with my supplier or actually even before that, I, I kept pestering him actually <laughs> like every week, like what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And, you know, the story was things are gradually shutting down in Italy, which at this, at the time just seemed crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, but it got to a point where I'm like, all right, I can't wait anymore. And the reason why I was waiting at this point was my suppliers were worried about, I don't know, simple things like, oh, the paper, it's not exactly what you wanted, you know, because all my hosiery packaging has paper inside. Like, oh my God, just get it out the door. I'm like, I've been waiting way too long. And so he's like, all right, I'll just ship things as is. And I'm like, all right. Turns out two days afterwards, that's when Italy had shut down, which, wow. you know, had it been, you know, two days later, um, I don't think I would have been able to have any inventory available on hand. Where were the customers? Everybody was hunkered down. Nobody was going anywhere. People were wearing sweatpants everywhere. You know, nice blouse top for the Zoom meetings with the, the boss, but wearing, you know, shorts or pants, sweatpants underneath, below. How did you survive that way? So- yeah, I think, you know, because my thigh high stocking business, um, at the end of the day, it's still a form of lingerie. And so for mm -hmm. folks who stayed home, um, you know, they were just buying that for for them to look good for their significant other and to have fun <laughs> at home. Um, but, you know, I, I think, I, you know, business really wasn't impacted or I didn't see the real impact of things slowing down until late 2020 and 2021 that was when I was like oh my goodness where is where's everything going you know mm -hmm. what what is going to be the future um of fashion um in general and you know during that time I did pivot a little bit we started um selling loungewear so that mm -hmm. for, for fabulous women who wanted to stay at home and look good um and feel good as well the you know we had loungewear available for them so that's good. So you pivoted a little bit, started selling that. Now you're back to selling the luxury hosiery. Tell me a little bit about the product itself. You have thigh highs and those are individual stockings that just stay up with sort of a silicone, silicone band. Yep, that's okay. absolutely it. You know, they feature a silicone band and, you know, so long as you pull it all the way up to your leg, they they stay up. 
And you've also expanded now into over the knee socks. Is that right? Yes, over the knee socks and knee highs as well. We've also added um, a variety of sizes. So when I first started, we only had two sizes, small and large. Now we have um, one X small, so extra small, all the way to three extra large. What values do you bring to the table? What in your background has shaped you to who you are today? As an Asian American woman, you know, I was born in Asia. I grew up in the U.S. I think the value of that um, experience is just being able to see things from a different perspective, um, not just, um, you know, a, a, from the lens of a, a narrow minded American. And not that there's anything wrong with that, mm-hmm. but, you know, I think having um, a layer of Asian American or, 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 you know, seeing things through, okay, here's how my family would interpret things and how this is how um, an, an, a Westerner, if you will, see mm-hmm. things um, has really helped me think about, okay, how do I connect with my suppliers who mm-hmm. comes from, you know, Italy? Um, how do I um, respect them in a way that I can gain trust? And so I think through that, it has really helped my business grow um, because of the relationship and being able to see things through the lens of um, multiple um, perspective. Vian, what kind of advice would you give to other um, young entrepreneurs who are starting out maybe? Maybe they have a, you know, a niche, maybe it's a luxury brand, maybe it's something else, a how-to, whatever. What advice would you give from an entrepreneur's perspective? Oh my goodness, start now. I, I really, I, <laughs> really? I, I, yeah, okay. absolutely. I I wish I started in my 20s, to be honest. It was, you know, in my 20s, I thought, oh, I would love to start a business one day. And then, um, yeah, I didn't do that until I was, uh, until I was 30. I mean, I was started working on it when I was 29, but um, I really wish I had started earlier and sooner because, um, experience, everything. It's just, it, it, it just, yeah. <laughs> Start now because you have more energy too when you're younger, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> more but energy and time. Um, yeah. You, you just have more time in your, when you're younger as well. And some of the barriers that are starting at your own business is money. So how did you, did you just save with, you have a dream and you started saving and goals and then you said, okay, now's the time to cut the cord with the company you were working for, or just go on your own. Yeah. I also had a, a former business partner um, as well who worked with me as well. And so essentially a little bit of everything. Uh, okay. One's investment and my own money, et cetera. Vian, what's next for your company, Vian Milano? What's new for you? Yeah. Come. So, um, you know, I am launching or I have launched Pantyhose. Um, mm-hmm. I've added that to my collection. I know a lot of people may be thinking like, I thought you were all about thigh high stockings. Well, at the end of the day, I am. I still think that thigh highs is um, the better type of hoser, if you will, compared mm-hmm. to pantyhose and tights. However, um, I do think that a lot of times, because we are a smaller brand, a boutique brand, as you mentioned, I think in order for me to say, hey, um, try thigh highs out. But if you're a little hesitant, why don't you try our stockings and tights first? And now mm-hmm. that you know our quality and that you know, um, you know, what my hosiery is like and have been more familiar with our brand, I think it's an easier gateway, if you will, for somebody to try out our thigh highs after stepping in to our tights and pantyhose. The end, you know, everyone is dress, is dressing more casually all the time. Okay, even to funerals and weddings. So a lot of people say, well, I think the bare legged look is what women are wearing. And I'm a woman. I don't like to wear this stuff. What do you say to that? Because oh, you're, you're pushing this is for every day, not just for special occasions, right? Yes, um, I, I do believe that, you know, wherever you go, you're making a statement for yourself. And mm-hmm. so if you're comfortable bare leg, that's on you. Um, but I think, you know, real estate standpoint, at least 50% of your body are all legs. So <laughs> that's really a good canvas for you to express yourself with color or texture, et cetera. Um, I, I don't know. I, it's just, why not take that opportunity to, to do something fun and stylish? Plus they just make your legs look better, right? <laughs> yes. You know, it's a good way. It, you know, it, it's, if you've got skinny legs, you can wear something that make your legs look fuller. If you've got big legs, you can wear, you know, stripe uh, the you know um, vertical stripes to make your legs look thinner and longer. So there's definitely tricks around um, how to, you know, 
get what you want through fashion, not just to express your personality, but physically too. <laughs> like, right. And you have high fashion models wearing your hosiery on the runway, right? In New York. Yes. So that's great. Well, Vian, thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me. Good luck with your company. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting a new video every Thursday. I'm Mary Sid. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.